Hello, dear friends. In the Beatitudes, Jesus tells us how to love those who persecute you and who are not helping you. That's in Matthew 5, 10, and 44. That is something that's hard to do. Now, during this pandemic and election time, we find it difficult to pray for others that we are perceiving that are not working in our best interest. Regardless if you're a Republican or Democrat, we find ourselves throwing verbal stones at the other guys, or even worse, thinking about how, in our opinion, can our friends possibly support the wrong candidate. We see this in the protests that lead to rioting in our streets. Jesus tells us what to do in this instance, and that is pray. Pray for those different from you and who may have a different view on life than you might have. Pray for those who persecute you. Pray for all of them. Did you pray for all the candidates from both parties? Did you pray for anything besides your candidate to win? We are all called to pray that we elect those people who will be honest and faithful to the wise laws and the rights of all may be protected. That's in the Book of Common Prayer, page 822. Can you be open to the candidate that God wants to win, even if that's not your choice? Wow. In our election this week, pray that we choose candidates that God wants to help or govern our cities, county, state, nation. And then make sure you vote. God bless you. Amen.